Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Utah Studio and today I'd like to share with you a quick tip to save and reuse your titles in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we're on the edit page and I'm gonna share with you a quick tip to just save your title and reuse them. So basically to save it, usually we'll just uh, create your Fusion composition, then you'll go over to Fusion, uh, you'll bring the text node, do whatever modification you want to do. And then once you're done, you can just right click and you will export a macro. Uh, and that will be a video for another day. It's a bit more complicated right now. I'm gonna share with you an easier way to do that. Right now, because we created the title on a Fusion composition, as you can see, if I do any modification here, I raise the size, uh, etc. I'm going back here to the edit page and I have my titles, but here I have no control over it. I need to every time go back to the Fusion page and make the modification there. But if your goal in Fusion is to make a title, there is a way to have a partial control here in the edit page. So we're going to see that right now. We're going to delete the Fusion composition and instead we're going to go over to title and here we're going to bring in the timeline a text plus. And basically instead of using the Fusion composition, we're going to use that as our starting point. By using that as our starting point, we're basically going to be able to, in Fusion, make our animation, make any more complicated adjustment like glow or using background or whatever. But then when we'll go back to the edit page, we'll be able to have access to all those controls. So we'll be able to change the font, the size, the position and so on. So right now, let me share with you. Basically, we go over to Fusion right here. And here as a first note, we have a template instead of a text. But basically, that's a text plus that offer us control over the edit page. Now I'm just going to make a bunch of modification that I will not be able to do in the edit page. So here, first off, I'm just going to quickly change the text. DaVinci, we're going to increase the size. I'm going to switch the font for Montserrat. Here we're going to go with black. Then I'm going to go over to my template and I'm going to bring, for example, here one of the generator. I'm going to take the noise gradient generator, bring that in, link that output to my template output to create that merge. And then with the merge, I'm just going to select the operator mode and I'm going to go with in. In the noise gradient, I'm just going to switch to version 2, which is kind of like fire look. And then another effect that I could have here is the glow. So I'm going to hit shift space on my keyboard, bring a glow node. All right, so now let's make a quick animation with a mask, but I don't want to do it here directly on the template because otherwise I would not be able to reuse the parameter that I keyframe on that template. So I'm going to bring a transform node instead. Here's the transform node. Then let's just click on the rectangle mask. I'm just gonna mask that out, bring the soft edge here to 0.2, and then we're gonna keyframe the transform position. So here, for example, I'm gonna go at frame 25. I'm gonna drop a keyframe here on the position, and then I'm just gonna go to frame zero, and I'm gonna drag that out of the frame right here. Then as usual, going to the spline editor, selecting this, uh, selecting everything, selecting all my keyframe point, hitting S on the keyboard, then hitting T to bring the ease in and ease out, changing that to 85. And now we have basically all animation. Getting out of the mask, we've created something with the noise gradient, added a glow. So we've created something a bit more complex that we cannot do uh, in the edit page. But now if I go back to the edit page, as you can see, I can just add some text. I can reduce text. I can change the font for whatever font is available on my computer, so on and so forth. You can adjust the size, the tracking, add some shading if you want here, all those adjusting the layout, transform shading, and basically any parameter available in the text plus. Obviously you don't have control over the more complex effect like the glow or the background, but basically it could help you to just create the style of the text and then just make it reusable easily uh, by having already all those parameters exported because that will be a bit of a pain to export for each macro. Exporting macro, if you want to do it the right way and organize properly, takes a bit of time. So that's an easy way to save all that in second. Because now I have my title and I can just drag it here in my Power Beans. I'll link below to a more complete video on Power Beans and all their work. But basically, if you don't have it showing up, you can just go over to View, scroll down there, and then you have Show Power Beans. Just activate that. It will just prompt open that tiny tab right here, Power Beans. And then you can just create your own folder structure and bring here, for example, this title. Then you can just rename it. For example, here, DaVinci Fire. So now you can just reuse that title whenever you want. You take it, drag it in your timeline like any other title. And here you can make your modification. Here, switching the text, for example, for Resolve. 
adjusting size, font, and so on. And whenever you want to make deeper modification to the title, you can just go over to Fusion and here uh, make those modifications right there and come back to the edit page. So that's it. That's my alternative to macros that takes a bit longer to do. This technique takes just well less time and is very beginner friendly. If you don't need to have control over every parameter, but just uh, the basic text, size, position, and so on, you could just use that instead. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigastudio.com.